I was told that I would never get custody back of my son. Um, and that was one of the hardest things to hear as a parent. I mean, especially where I had to put my two little ones up for adoption. They were my biggest motivation to stick with the program and work it to my ability. I think it took me losing my kids to get to the point that I'm at now. Because, I mean, I always knew that I suffered from major depression and anxiety and the PTSD, but I didn't know how bad. And I think I was masking that with the addiction. I've been a client of CCBC off and on for probably 10, 12 years. Back in 2013, I ended up losing custody of my kids because I had reached my breaking point and my addiction and mental illness. And then I found Pathways. Just feeling more confident as a victim of domestic violence and through everything that I've been through with my kids and trying to rebuild relationships with them and getting custody back of my son, finding my self-esteem again because at one point I had really, really low self-esteem and just being able to open up and relate to other people in the program and being able to share, I think is why I like that program so much. Because it's like a second family to me. I'm finally finding myself and who Valerie is again. Well, my day starts with program. I go four days out of the week. We do a daily goals group, which is where we kind of let check in with ourselves and with the group on how we're feeling throughout the day and setting a goal for the day, um, something positive within the last 24 hours. And then um, it breaks down into individual groups. I just recently did the um, Art Grow program. It's a 12-week series of um, trauma work that kind of ties the parent into how the trauma has affected the child. A lot of it I could relate to the DBT and the cognitive from being at program for so long. Um, and I think that's kind of what helped me get through it because it was pretty intense. I graduated from that about a month and a half ago. Yeah, I feel proud and then there's some days where I, I don't see it and I kind of beat myself up over. Like, well I should be here by now. I should be working or I should be doing something other than just pathways and I'm actually thinking about looking into schooling to become an advocate. That's one of my biggest desires at this point is being able to share my knowledge and share my story with others and help. I'm kind of lost without all the providers and the supports. It becomes part of your routine and your your daily structure and then being able to go home and kind of bring that into my home to my son and teach him. There's been days where I've just wanted to throw in the towel and give up and be like oh no this program isn't working nothing's changing um, but the more you stick with it and you work the program the more you're gonna benefit from it. Yeah it's been a long six years but finally getting there.